a, probably a good Stan, good how are we doing? Good, Ben. How are you? Thank you for, for taking the long walk over. I really well, do appreciate it. You know, it, it was uh, grueling. It was kind of cold out there. So, so. Is, it, is anybody really watching, watching the shop right now? Uh, my wife was over there when I left. Gee, Whether or not she still is, <laughs> you know, it's questionable. <sighs> well, welcome to another exciting episode of Kapal's Corner. I'm your host, Benny Kapal, and with me today... Excuse me. With me today, I have Stan Arnold. You're well, hello. Person. Okay, so Stan, first and foremost, congratulations. Well, thank you. The, the new proud owner um, of the generational restaurant, Carl's Hideaway. Multi-generational. So you would technically be what, the third? I'm the fourth owner, third generation. Third generation. I mean, yeah. I'm fourth generation, so you're not there yet. Yeah. It's uh, close. We're working on it. It's fine. I mean, you know. My you daughter. Have, have my daughter's eight. Yep. I've got two girls, uh, eight and six. My eight-year-old absolutely loves coming up to wash glasses behind the bar. So she's already, I mean, yep. she, you're prepping. She's. You're prepping. We're, we're working on her. Well, <clears throat> congratulations. I, I mean, we can go back with the Kapals and, and the, the, the Henning side, oh. the um because uh, grandma and grandpa owned um, Carl's. They also owned uh, uh, Mer M M Modes Mer by Merle. Merle. <laughs> right. Yes. And then did you also, they also owned the bar bar, right, for a while, didn't they? Or no, am I making that up? The tavern, or what's so, it called? The yeah, tavern? It, it was uh, Central Tavern. Central Tavern. Yep, they started, oh, bought that in 63. Okay. Burnt down in 68. Okay. And then, uh, Carl's opened in 69. And you could get your hair cut in the front, and you could go to the bar to get the back. And, right? and that was the whole thing. The guys would drop their wives off at the front. And they'd go to the back, right? Then they'd, they'd go back. to the back, and when the wives were done, then my grandma would just pound on the wall, and they'd come they'd back. Come back. And they'd come back. Come back, pick them up. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, that's totally a, totally like a small town. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, I like how you dressed up for February. Um, so December never ended for you. Yeah, well, I, I love Christmas. Okay, obviously. I, and who doesn't love tacos? So there you go. I really appreciate you wearing a hat under a roof, you know, wearing a roof under a roof. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the lighting like, thing in here, oh, you know, I so I was worried guy. about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about Ida, right? So I think this season especially, I'm kind of bringing back the never forget where you came from, right? And we're we're both, can I say, we're both Ida boys? I think so, We're yeah. both Ida boys, born, born and raised. Born and raised. Born and raised in Ida. Um, the good and the bad with that, whatever you want to look at that. Um, so, yeah, congratulations. Take it over, Carl. So, <coughs> that's quite the huge testament, right? Yeah. And you got to keep it. I mean, you can't mess it up. Yeah, right. It's a, it's you can't a lot it of pressure on the shoulders there. I mean, I, I've heard people say, you know, Ida, right? The the festival and Carl's Hideaway. Right. So, you know, they say, they, they think Kapal Funeral Home, but then they also don't want to think about Kapal's. <laughs> yeah, Kapal yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get it. I get it. It's, it's, it's a tough life, you know. When you look this good in a suit oh, all geez. the time. It's getting deep in here. It's really, really tough. But, uh, no, thank you. And, and I think from all of us Ideans, like, we're, we're proud to have another generational um, establishment. I think that's I think that's awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, now, talk about that. Like, how did you get into owning Carl's? So, uh, it was my first job. Technically, was setting out salt and pepper shakers and ashtrays. So this was a long time ago. You got to earn your dues. Yeah, sure. before preschool. <laughs> okay. That that was technically my first job there. Awesome. But uh, when I was twelve, I started. I mean, unofficially. Started washing dishes and bussing tables right. there. Unaf right. no, 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 no. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly started doing that. Um, and I worked there all throughout high school. Then uh, I turned 18 or 19, graduated from high school, went to work in industry. Mm -hmm. and would come in and help out every once in a while. It's a good thing we're not. Yeah, thank you guys. We're just doing going a show here. Or, Thanks or for being around. You know, it's hard. It's hard to good find good help these well, days. You know, you aren't kidding. All right, the grill session now is going to go a little weird. We're still, no, we're still doing the show. <laughs> Guys, we're still doing the show. Here. No, we're still doing it, man. We're literally doing it. Okay, oh, here we go. Go Lord. ahead. Go ahead, Stan. So, uh, okay. anyways, worked there through high school, mm -hmm. went to work in industry, um, still worked whenever they needed help, and, of course, Christmas and Ida, right. biggest, busiest day of the year. 
Um, and then about five years ago, John and Patty approached my wife and I about purchasing it. And at the time I was doing like, oh, 12, 14 hour days, plus an hour drive there, an hour drive back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it was, it was kind of tough being a dad and doing all that. You know, luckily my wife was able to stay home with the kids, Right, right. but I missed two years, three years of their lives working that job. And it was like, oh man, we got to figure something else out. Absolutely. Well, and I'm glad I turned down the job from John and Patty because they first confronted me. Oh, they said, you know, being a staple in Ida like yourself, um, just, you know, they wanted to have a better feel look, you know, just more professionalism when they saw it. And I just, I couldn't do it. Well, there's it's just, it's, professionalism, was, and then there's actually looking good while you're doing that's it. That's true. You I know, mean, look at that sombrero I you mean. got on going. So, yeah, so you so you, you got approached, you decided, you know, I want to spend some more time with the family. I want to be able to, and then this kind of fell in your lap. Yeah, it, it kind of fell in the lap, and, uh, um, you know, so that was... But you know the place pretty well for... <laughs> I've been there a time or two. Since what, get preschool is that what you said? Yeah. Kindergarten? <laughs> yeah, preschool. Oh, uh, man. I mean, that's... that's. I, did you ever, in your wildest dreams back then, think you would be... Owning? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now <laughs> no. you're doing it, right? Yeah, now I'm doing it. There was one point I had just started to learn to cook, and this was when Dave and Shirley owned mm -hmm. it. Shirley came back, watched me top a soft taco or something. She just looked at it and said, you're going to own this place one day. Well, okay, yeah, you know, I'm 16, you know, whatever. Fast forward, yeah. and now you, know, you own 20 it. 20 years so. later, and yeah, yeah. Well, yet again, I think that's I think that's incredibly cool. Now, I, I also hear that you've been known to play uh, video games. Is this is this true? Uh, every once and again, every okay. once and again. What is your what is your um, uh, guilty pleasure when it comes to video games? You know, I it, it is Call of Duty. That'd be my guilty pleasure. You know, it's, <laughs> we're joking about it earlier, but that is definitely my guilty pleasure. I would not pleasure. be joking about Call of Duty. <laughs> Not, not because I'm more of a Battlefield guy, and I think Battlefield's just well, a better game you know, in general. You know, I mean, nobody's perfect. But, so. I mean, absolutely. Um, uh, do, do you like playing it like the single player, or do you like doing like co-op and Not online? single player. Uh, well, online, but, you know, you, I'm we, not a big... You know, and I'll be honest with you. I think that's the saddest part about video games nowadays is you don't have the campaigns anymore. Yeah, so I, it's, it's pretty sad when you get in Call of Duty game and i haven't bought a new one in a couple mm -hmm. of years but the, the last one i bought i think i beat the campaign in like four hours mm -hmm. yeah and, and it was well, what the heck is this you when know? when games used to be a whole year it, exactly to be if 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 you beat it if, if you, you got beat lucky it. enough to be yeah. on, on nes didn't have to any means turn it off and go to bed you know couldn't save your game at that point in time so. absolutely it's tough being a child well thanks stan for being on the show yet again i'm benny capal this was stan arnold and uh good night well thank you come to carl's Para mi gente